Have you ever wondered about the peculiar shape of the red blood cell? Someone has described it as a cross between a donut and a pancake. Now, if you or I had been designing the red blood cell, we probably would have made it spherical. For a sphere is the simplest of all compact shapes and in many ways the most efficient. It has much greater volume than the biconcave disc of the red blood cell. It's the strongest of all shapes and it's the shape that would pass through the intricate maze of the blood vessels with greatest ease. But it has one fatal weakness. It wouldn't work. Here at the laboratory, we've made models of several possible shapes with a red blood cell. We've cut them so that we can observe their cross-section as they're immersed in a colored liquid and thus determine the rate at which the liquid is absorbed. With the sphere, absorption is rapid at first, but near the center, the process slows to a snail's pace. It is obvious that a spherical cell would be much too slow for the job. Of course, the most obvious solution would be to flatten the sphere into a disc. And in actual tests, it is clear that this does solve the problem of rapid absorption. The disc has adequate speed, but not enough volume. The ideal red cell shape is one that would combine volume, speed, and durability. Now, it isn't necessary for us to guess what this ideal shape should be. It can be determined scientifically and mathematically. Starting with the laws of gas infusion and then applying the principles of advanced calculus, it is possible to derive a formula that will give maximum volume with maximum speed in absorbing gases. This is that formula. It allows for all the variables we have just described. The laws of gas infusion, volume, surface area, and time. The men here at the laboratory worked for several weeks with this formula to establish a relatively few points indicating the ideal shape. These seem to coincide with the actual shape of the red cell, but we needed more complete and reliable evidence. So we submitted the problem to the Applied Science Department of the International Business Machine Corporation. Dr. Edgar Smith, IBM mathematician, set up the problem for solution on one of the giant research computers. All that remains is to push the right button and 10,000 things happen faster than we can describe and the answer to our problem appears on the oscilloscope screen. This is the cross-sectional shape of the actual red blood cell. And this is a photograph of the shape on the IBM research computer derived from the formula for an ideal red blood cell. The fact that the red blood cell turns out to be the one perfect ideal shape demands an explanation. And to me, the only adequate explanation is intelligent design. But the question arises, whose intelligence is involved? Well, one thing is certain, it wasn't man's intelligence. We had nothing to do with it. But there it is, the ideal perfect shape. It would seem that if a man wants to believe in God, he has, just within the red blood cells of his body, at least 30 trillion very good reasons for doing so.